Hey guys, my name is Ivo and I'm from mytestedesp.net. This video will be the last one for the project by type folder structure in ASP.NET. What we left what we're left to do is to map the different kind of models. The problem is I create a model for each layer. For example, in my controllers I have model for an article. In my service layer I have a model for an article. In my data layer I have a model for an article and all of these models uh, have similar properties or exactly the same depending on the situation. So if we take a look we have an ID, title and description here. We have an ID, title and description here. We have a title and description here. So essentially all these models are similar but they are not the same and if we want to be as secure as possible in our applications we should create different kind of models for each layer. Unfortunately when we write link code or mapping code or just plain old controller code we will have a code like this ID equals ID, title equals title, description equals description and if our models are getting bigger and bigger and if our models start uh, having more and more properties we will have a lot of bootstrapped code like this one we will have to write code we are essentially lazy to write. Ok, what we are going to do now is we are going to provide a way to map from one model to another. Fortunately there is two called automapper. Automapper allows us to map from one code to another, from one type of class to another, it will automatically map the same properties one by one. And additionally, we can provide additional configuration to map custom properties like this one author equals model.author.username. So, how to get start with automapper first in the web application i will need to install automapper.extensions this one automapper extensions microsoft dependency injection let's install that one And everywhere I will need to map code, this is my service layer and my controller layer, I will need to install the normal automapper and get package. Okay, and here. Great, then to register the automapper services, what I need to do is I need to call services dot at automapper. Using automapper. Here it is. And what I need to provide additionally, I need to provide all the assemblies in which I have mapping profiles. What's a mapping profile? Mapping profile is 
a class which registers the different mapping code. So I will create one mapping profile for my for my service layer. I will create an infrastructure project infrastructure folder. I'm sorry, and I will add service mapping profile. Creating the service mapping profile is kind of easy. I will need to inherit from the automapper profile class and I just need to create a constructor in which I will be able to create different kinds of maps between my classes. For example, if I take a look in the article service, I have a mapping from article to article listing service model. So let's create that. I will come here and say create map from article to article listing service model. I will need this one and I will need this one using static. No, I don't know. I don't need static. I want using models. Cool. And I use the shorter syntax. So I'm going to write it like this. Great. So I created a map. From now on, AutoMapper will automatically map from all objects which come from articles and have to be mapped to article listing service models. It will automatically map ID and title because ID and title are both contained in both models but it won't map author because the original article model does not have a string author so I need to provide a custom map for it so what I'm going to do is say create map then I will specify a member I will say I want to map the author property from author.username I'm specifying that I want the author property to have a custom map just like I'm doing it here and that's my service mapping profile I guess I will need to add one more profile and that's the article detail service model which will be a bit better because I will have four properties auto mapped for me Okay, let's create that one also. This create map article article details service model for member m goes to author. We have the same author property which needs to be mapped by a custom convention. And we are done. Just to say, the auto mapper, uh, the auto mapper two has quite a lot of options. So if you take a look, if we take a look at the documentation, we will find a lot of useful features. For example, flattening, reverse mapping, projection, and so on and so on. The best part is that it supports, it supports link queries out of the box and it translates all the queries to entity framework for you. What's the overhead of AutoMapper? Essentially no overhead because it initially needs some time to create the mapping delegates but once it creates the delegates it just uses them. So Essentially, AutoMapper is using the same technique I showed you earlier in my channel and that's optimizing C-sharp reflection 
by using delegates. From the pro you can check that video because it's quite interesting. Automapper is using the same technique. Okay, great. Let me see whether I will need some other mapping code. For now, no. Then what I will do is I will take a, take a look in my article controller to see whether I will need mapping here, but for now I won't need it. But the principle is the same. I would create a class controller control, controller mapping profile and I will inherit from the old mapper profile and I will write All my mapping code here. How to use the created maps? First we need to register them and then we need to change all our uh, we we'll need to change all our uh, link queries. But first I would like to thank my sponsors. As you may already know I'm working as a CTO and a technical trainer but in my free time I'm creating open source libraries mainly for ASP.NET one of my libraries is for the ASP.NET Core so if you want you can take a look at my github profile it's written here and these projects have been developed for more than three to four years now and currently I have two sponsors one of them is SoftUni and the other one is SmartIT. Thank you guys for supporting my work. If you are happening to write ASP.NET Core projects, you may find my tools very useful. They provide you easy, strongly typed, fluent interface to test various parts of your application service, controllers, models, cache, session, database and so on. And if you would like to help me even further, you can become a backer or sponsor on Patreon or Open Collective. I will be super thankful. Okay guys, thank you very much and let's return to the code. We have to register the auto mapper service here. That's the first thing we need to do. We need to provide all the assemblies in which the auto mapper profiles exist. That's the controller assembly and that's the services assembly. The best way the fastest way to do that is to say I want to have the assembly of the article service and I have to have the assembly of the home controller I'm using controllers Cool, that's it. We registered alt mapper. We can extract that to a separate method like we did with the add MVC one. Uh, there's all, also a cool technique which allows you to register automatically all the mapping uh, classes without specifying them one by one in profile classes like this one but I will show that technique in a future video 
it's using reflection and it will help you quite a lot. You can do the same technique to register your services without explicitly specifying them one by one. Okay, and the last thing we need to do is we need to change our link queries to use automapper. So I'm not going to use a select anymore. I'm going to use project to method, which is coming from the automapper using automapper queryable extensions. So I have project to and I can give what kind of projection I want. I can say I want to map the query to article detail service model. What I need to provide is the auto mapper configuration and that's quite an easy task to do. We need to inject imapper which is coming from auto mapper again. So I'm going to pass that to the constructor. And that's it. And my link queries became a little more a little more easier to read and they don't have all that mapping code. And let's use auto mapper here too. I will need to project to article listing service model and give the configuration provider because it needs it and as you can see my link query become more readable i see the skip take project to list it's very easy to use auto mapper and like i said it doesn't bring any overhead because initially when it creates the mapping code it has some reflection but that reflection is cached and optimized so you won't see any difference when you are using auto mapper in your link queries or in your no normal mapping code one more thing and we are done if we want to map one object to another without using link Again, we will need to inject, I will show it here, we need to inject the imapper interface and it has a map method which can map explicitly some objects. So the code is quite easy. This mapper dot map, I say what type of object I expect from the map and I provide the object, the source object from which the data will be get. Okay guys, that's how to wire automapper in ASP.NET. In future videos I will show you additional funny and nice to have features for example base controllers easier authentication skipping model state checks on every action automatic service registration automatic mapping registrations and many more hints and tricks I want about uh, I I have and I know about the ASP.NET Core framework. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe because a lot of interesting videos are coming. And again, if you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below, star my projects, become a sponsor on Patreon. Everything is welcomed and I will be extremely thankful. Bye.